Hey, before you watch this video, I just want you to know that we do have a Facebook page, Christian Hannah Horror. Be sure to like that page. I'll put that link in the description below. You'll get the latest news as soon as the video gets uploaded. Enjoy this video, and thanks for watching Christian Hannah Horror. Ladies and germs, it's showtime with Christian Hannah Horror. Today we are looking at the Michael Myers Halloween collection in the horror room. Um, some things I know I'm going to skip over, but that's not a big deal. We're just going to look at everything. And uh, well, everything we got Halloween, so we're gonna go through the room and we're we're gonna discover things together because I'm I'm winging this video. This was a request to do, buddy. I uh, hope you enjoy this. And for everybody else, this is the Halloween collection, everything I got. So let's take a look over here. First thing we got is on my little. Uh, this is the slasher blue DVD section. Basically, I had too much DVDs. I couldn't fit them on the main shelf. Here is the uh, Trick or Treat Studios. Ha, uh, Rob, Z Rob Zombie. Halloween 6, my favorite mask of the series, along with the Blockbuster Trilogy that was, uh, it comes to Halloween's 1, 2, and 3, the Blockbuster Presents Halloween, and the Good Times 2 and 3 VHS. Um, here's a little pumpkin. I just thought that looked good. Don't you guys like that? I think that looks pretty good. Alright, let's see. Uh, next up, ooh, look at this. We've got the Halloween, um, I think that's Movie Maniacs. Yes, it is. Movie Maniacs, McFarlane Toys. I got that for like seven dollars at a pawn shop. Can you guys believe that? And I think this thing goes for like twenty, thirty bucks, maybe more. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Should I take it out of the box? Should I leave it in? Because it was brand new, or not brand new? Because it looked brand new and everything. I just decided to leave it in the box. You know, I don't know. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. This is my Halloween poster. You know, I, I, I kind of wish I'd have gone back when I got in this and got the pumpkin. But something about this one, even though it's not an original poster, obviously, it's not even the original. Like, I don't think they ever use this artwork. I think it's cool because it says the trick is to stay alive. And you got Michael with the blue light. I like that a lot. And check this out. I'll stick this in here. This is uh, an autographed Halloween 2 picture from um, Sheriff Brackett. His real name slips my memory. But, uh, yeah. How cool is that? So, all right, let's move along. Uh, let's go, let's do the masks last. But let's see what else we got. Um, here is I know this is kind of hard to see. Here's just kind of like the extra DVDs I have of Halloween. The latest version of Halloween I picked up was this. I thought you guys might like this. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Halloween. Um, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, before I was on board with Blu-ray, I, I stuck with DVD. So I had the DVD of Halloween 2 Scream Factory. Um, I don't know. I just like it. Um, I still like DVD. I don't think anything's wrong with DVD. Oh, here's something cool, guys. Here is, I got this from um, a store called, I think it was, I think it was Creation X. Yeah. This is a Halloween 1 replica pumpkin. That is awesome. Um, it's really thick. Really thick. Um, if you're looking for Halloween 1 pumpkin, uh, Creation X is one of the best places to get one. Um, it's a great looking pumpkin. And as you can see here, I gotta think for pumpkins. Here is the Halloween 2 and Halloween 6 pumpkin. Um, Halloween 2 was from, uh, let's see what company this was from. I think the tag is on here. Brutal Custom Masks. Um, but I think I got it on eBay. Um, and then we also got the Creation, uh, that's not Creation, that's the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 6 pumpkin. Which, um, you get what you pay for, I wish it would have been made a little bit better. Very, th very thin. But, um, you know, I'm not, I just sit it down and display it. That's not like it's going to get, it's, it's not like it should get messed up or anything. Yeah, we're going to try to find a lot of odds and ends cool stuff for you guys. Like, check this out. Um, here is the script. Let me set this down. We'll look at this. Here is the script, the original music score script. Let me get that to focus well. There we go. The or original music score manuscript from Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. And um, I got this at a convention when I met Mr. Alan Howard. And I believe, there it is. Here we go. He autographed it. Um, I'm a musician myself, so I'm sure you guys, most of you should notice all the music in my videos is stuff I record. If you didn't, I hope you notice now, and uh, I hope you guys like the music I do. Um, I love, you know, writing 
and doing music and making horror music so I might look into doing covers of the Halloween theme and stuff and uploading them if you guys would be interested in hearing it and I think he I think he autographed it in one more spot oh by the way Alan was a great guy um for y'all that don't know Alan he basically kept he basically did took over the Halloween themes and music for the movies pretty much after Halloween 1 so there's that Alan is a very good musician very talented um he doesn't get enough credit I think um John gets all the credit in the world obviously for doing Halloween 1 script it's uh modeling one music which is a great it's great music but alan really kept the the feel alive after that all right let's see what else we got oh check this out this is a plaque of it says 30 years of terror and as you can see we've got we've got uh basically images from all halloween movies up until um i believe halloween rob zombies halloween no i don't even think they have that on there it's strictly just no, I'm, I'm lying. There's there's Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, I don't think this was in 2008, so I don't think um, Halloween 2 had came out yet. So there's nothing on there from Halloween 2. Okay, moving along, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Uh, typical stuff. I could just let y'all see real quick. Oh, here's one more thing. This was the. Um, let's set that down, and we'll get a good bird's eye view at it. Excuse me for the you know wild camera work, but I wanted I wanted this to come across to you guys as legit. We're just going around and looking at everything. This is the Halloween uh, 30th anniversary commemorative set. Scream, I mean uh, Anchor Bay loved really loves releasing Halloween on video. Um, they know we're gonna buy it, but they do it justice. This this is cool. Some people think this is probably a little bit ridiculous. I for one really like this. So. Uh, let's see. All, we all know the specs and stuff on this. My number is 2,223. I kind of wish it was 2222. That would have been neat. But, yeah, there's that. So, that's really neat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to go around and look through everything first. Um, obviously... I'm not going to show you the DVDs. Everybody's got the DVDs. Here's the Blu-ray set. Of Halloween. Oh, here's something. This is a 1982 Fangoria issue featuring Halloween 3 Season of the Witch on it. That's pretty cool, right? And here is Halloween 5 Fangoria. I like Fangoria's um, just specific ones. I need to get Halloween 4 Fangoria. I kind of want that one. Okay. What do you say we go ahead and look at the masks? Alright, give me one second. Let me get prepared for this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is as close as I can really get without hurting myself. As you can see, right here, we've got the Halloween 6. Well, I can zoom in. we got the Halloween 6 Curse of Michael Myers mask, and that was from Creation X. Um, that's a good mask. A lot, of, a lot of washout and stuff on it. I like it a lot. Um, as you can see from, from the side, it looks just like it. I think so. Okay, next we have, I have no information on this, guys, so I really, I'm sorry, I can't give you more. That is the Halloween H2O mask. Um, I really cannot give you any information on that. I just got it, I got it off eBay, I think, so that's really all I can say about it. Um, as you can see next, we have, that is the Blood Tears Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 2. Um, really quick, I want to ask you guys a question. I am desperately trying to get my hands on a Halloween 5 mask. Is Ruby's putting it out? Before you say anything else, yes, I know it's probably not going to be the greatest thing in the world, but if it looks like Halloween 5, I'm going to get it because, damn it, I, I need to finish my collection. I I'm missing Halloween 5 and I'm missing Halloween 1, which Halloween 1, I will spend the money to get a good one down the road, but I need to get 5 out of the way. So there's the Trick or Treat Studios 2. Here we have the the big Halloween 3. That is the uh, pumpkin, the witch. That is a witch koozie right there. And uh, the skeleton. Um, the witch and the skeleton were from Silver Champagne Novelties. No, long, no longer, no longer uh, being ran anymore. And the pumpkin was from Strange Brew Masks, I think. I'll get back to you guys on that. Um, but yeah, I love the Halloween 3 masks right there. Go ahead and get Trick or Treat Studios masks, guys. They all look really good. Over there, we have the Halloween 4 mask. That is the uncle. I got that from I cannot remember where, guys. I got it a couple years ago. But, um, 
Yeah, that's the uncle mask. Let me get a better shot of that for you. There we go. Yeah, that's the uncle mask. And over here is resurrection. Now that looks pretty good mask, isn't it? That resurrection mask. I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's a good looking mask. So that's the uh, Halloween masks. Let me zoom out. That's the Halloween masks I have, and uh, you know we've got all the laser discs. We'll go look at real quick, and I've got some additions, so you guys might be interested in seeing that. So one second, let's go look at the laser discs. Real quick, I want to show you guys these. Um, these were called CED. Basically, this was the um, non-perfected version of a laser disc. From what I understand, these are pretty much like a vinyl record, and it reads off of a needle. Um, very, very old technology. These these died out at about 86. But uh, from what I understand, if your movie was made between like the early 70s and the in the early to mid 80s, it got released on CED. So that's pretty cool, huh? I only have two of them. I have Halloween and um, Halloween 3. You know, I'm not 100% if Halloween 3 got released on CED. I cannot give you a guarantee on that. And um, they, for some reason it was weird. Some, some of them had these white casings around it and some of them had blue. That's the only two colors I've ever seen. And uh, Halloween 3, obviously, I really like a lot. That's my favorite. So that's cool. All right, now let's go look at the laser discs. And here we are now, ladies and gentlemen, looking at the Halloween laser discs. Take a look at the first one. We've got Halloween, the Criterion Collection. It's a great set right there. I'll kind of go fast because I don't want to bore you guys too much with, with just staring at these for a long time. Halloween 2, The Nightmare Isn't Over, a great sequel. This is a Japanese Halloween 3. How about that? American Halloween 3. Most of the artwork's going to be exactly the same on the back. Um, it should be nothing you guys haven't seen before, images or anything. So I won't waste your time with that. The front all looks the cool thing. Halloween 4. How about that, guys? Okay, check this out. That's Halloween 5. The Revenge of Michael Myers. Thumb up this video if you like Halloween 5, because I do. All right, I'll show you the back of this one. This is a Japanese Halloween 6. Now, the funny thing about this, it's just like, okay, here's the American. Boom! And here's the Japanese. Boom. <clears throat> but, hey, they got their reasoning. But, hey, look at the back. The back is... The back of this thing just screamed, hey, just turn this thing around and look at this. Now, that's a lot of cool images. I love that image. Absolutely awesome. So, that's the Halloween 6. Guys, I love Halloween. It may not be my favorite franchise in the world, but I think it's probably my second. It's probably Nightmare on Elm Street. It's my favorite. Okay, here's Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Um, they did not do anything special as far as editing on this one. It's just strictly the... Um, Strictly the theatrical cut, as well as on the Japanese. And the uh, late pressing of um, Halloween H2O. So there's the laser disc. I just thought about more stuff I have, so y'all hang tight. Don't X out of this video yet. Last, but certainly not least, is my Halloween cassette collection. Cassettes? Come on. Yes, I got a couple cassettes. So let's, let's take a look. I know some people are like, what? There's Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Let me cover up that red light for y'all. There's Halloween 3. These two are original pressings. No, that one's not. That's like the second pressing, I think. I think this was... This is an original pressing, but this one's not. Um, I could be wrong, though, but they're old. That's Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. That's the Death Waltz and release of Halloween two, 3 and 2 right there. Those are, you know, just came out a couple years ago. And here is my favorite soundtrack, Halloween 5, because it's got rock music on it, so... That is awesome. This one's nice because it's so comprehensive. As you can see, it says... Let me see if that'll focus at all. Well... Basically what it says is featuring... All, oh, there it is. Featuring all the songs from the motion picture plus the original score. So you got all the rock songs that were in this movie plus Alan's score. So that's excellent. Guys, so that's going to do it for the Halloween collection. I might have missed out one or two small things, but nothing as you guys probably, you know. Oh, wait up. I forgot one thing. Hold on. How the hell could I forget Big Daddy? Yeah, I got a life size, you know. And Hannibal's looking at him like, ah, he forgot you. But no, that is my, uh, 
life-size Michael Myers based off of H2O is what they had the box at. And uh, he was my very first life-size animatronic. And I dare say he's the best one I still have. So, that's it for the Halloween collection, guys. I think I got everything covered. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we will see you guys next time. I got a request to look at the Rob's uh, uh, Tar Man masks that I have. So, um, that may be the next video. I might have some new stuff soon. Spirit Halloween's opening soon, guys. Get in the Halloween spirit because it's coming. Christian Hanahara is out.